Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Malibu says hello. She's helping me with the video today. Uh, by the way, my voice is messed up, uh, so please forgive me, but I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and filmed this video because there's a deadline. It's part of a collaboration from Marna over at Dolls Rescued. So also let me say, I did not participate in this collaboration as far as making something for it. I am up to my eyeballs right now in numerous projects. One of those projects happens to be the virtual Blythe retreat that my sister Tapping Flamingo and I are preparing for this June. And so I am having to pull back on participating in collabs that I typically would because I really have to make that a priority. Um, I'm also, of course, teaching full time. I'm a teacher and I'm writing a book about Jane Austen. So kind of busy. <laughs> And I've got deadlines looming, so I had to, like, you know, have a little talking to myself and say, you can't do it all, girl. So anyway, I am participating in the collaboration that Marna came up with because people sent me stuff for it. So I'm going to share what they sent me. Now, what her idea came originally from um, the fact that I had a collaboration in December 2022 with the theme of gifts. And so her idea was that a bunch of uh, YouTube creators would make a skirt. Uh, it would have, she has a specific pattern and make sure you go over and check out Dolls Rescue. She'll have all the details that I am kind of glossing over. But the idea was that the creators would make a skirt and make one for themselves and then send one to somebody. And so I got two things sent to me. Now, this, this here, I'm going to open up. This is, I believe, a skirt from... Uh, Karen over at Starches and Stitches. And this is something I started kind of already opening. This is from my sister Tapping Flamingo, who already told me that she she kind of didn't have the best success with the skirt. So she sent me other stuff. So let's look at the, the non-skirt first. Okay. So she sent me this little bag of goodies. And look at this. Look how perfect this is. Look at the scale. Isn't that nice? These, she said she got these off of a uh, Mardi Gras, uh, what do you call it, necklace. That when she went to, she lives in Louisiana, so of course they, they, you know, they have Mardi Gras there. And she got it off of a necklace that was thrown for, to her from one of the parades. All right, so she sent me that. She also sent me this necklace and a pair of earrings. She's had this necklace on. I've noticed it um, both on her videos and then I saw her in real real life recently and she was wearing this and had these earrings too and I was just like, oh girl, I love that. Please make me that. So she did. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Look at those those little crackly pinks and then I really like this kind of, it looks moonstone-y. It's not. It's, I'm sure it's glass, but it looks got a moonstone look to it. So she sent me those. And then this is to replace the skirt that she didn't make. Okay. She has an Etsy shop, by the way. Okay, blatant, blatant advertisement. Do, 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 do. Make sure you go over and check out her jewelry shop. So I'm sure she's still participating. She's really good about participating in collapse. So make sure you go over to Tapping Flamingo's YouTube channel, see what she's doing today. But this, he said, she put in a little note and told me that this is because her, her skirt failed. She decided to send me this instead, whatever this is. So, I don't know what it is. Do not know. Let's see. Let's see. What is it? Ooh. Oh. Oh, how pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Look at that sparkly. So an earring, okay, so this, if you don't know what this is, I mean, obviously you know what the earrings are. Um, <clears throat> she makes these really cute uh, charms. I mean, they're really, they're, some people call them zipper poles, okay, so they have a uh, clasp at the top. But the thing is, you can attach them to the uh, dolly pull strings uh, for the Blythe dolls. And then you, what's nice about them is they're not permanent. You can switch them out. And so, in fact, I've got one she's made. She made this one for um, Malibu. And you see how basically you just put an overhand knot, you attach the clasp to the knot, and then you tighten the knot. And that's it. You could put it, you know, you could put it up higher or lower, wherever you want to put it at. So 
this is so pretty. This, you know, I'm going to have to find a doll. Cause in fact, I think, all right, I'll have to find a doll and show you guys this um, on a dolly. Okay, so pretty cool. I love it. All right, so I got stuff. The dolls have stuff. <laughs> Again, there is her Tappy Flamingo. She's, it's Tappy Flamingo Bling on Etsy. If you Google her, she comes up. All right, now let's see what Karen sent me from Starches and Stitches. All right, let's see what I got from Starches and Stitches. Oh, she's got it in another package. So let me open it up again. Oh, what a pretty card. All right, so here's the card. Oh, I wonder, did you draw this, Karen? She is an artist. She's a professional artist, by the way. So, I'm thinking this is some of her work. How pretty is that? Well, here's a card. It's taped to the skirt. Something in it. Oh, how cute are these? Oh, girl, I love these. Oh, do you know me or what? gosh I love these so much all right so I'm gonna have to read all this off camera oh my gosh girl you guys are so I'm so spoiled it's not even funny look at the the fabric on this skirt okay let me get in here I'm getting over a cold or trying to my brain is just not working on all cylinders if you know what I mean how cute is that it's pink I love it I love it. Oh, you did a great job. Got a little snap there. Yeah, I'm looking underneath it, girl. She lined it. All right, so let me go get somebody. I got to get a dolly and put this on and put on the earrings and charms and everything, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So as it happens, I have still quite a few naked dolls around here after taking apart my Christmas uh, display. <laughs> And Zanya was one of those, so she was uh, my pick for this little cute outfit I'm about to show you. I got some of this little sparkly netting out of my scrap bin and gave her a little headband. Here are the earrings that Terry made and the little pole charm added to her outfit. Flip that around there. Here is her adorable skirt. Look at that. And then I just found this little t-shirt. I thought it looked cute because it had the same sort of pink. The little lamb's cheeks are the same color pink as the skirt. Alrighty. Now, I did not realize it until I was putting her all together and I took out the earrings, but Terry sent me <laughs> the skate blades. So these are from Marna at Dolls Rescued. Um, make, make sure to check out. She has a really nice website and I'll put a link um, in the comments or something or down there. It's called Whimsical Blythe, so you can also Google it. But uh, she has all kinds of 3D printed cool stuff for dolls. And, you know, I did not know those were on there until, I, like I said, I took the earrings out. And I was like, what? And I don't have time to glue these on to something right now. So uh, I need to get this sucker edited and uploaded. And I then I'm probably going to take a nap because <laughs> I'm tuckered out. But I wanted to show you how adorable this girl looks. Isn't she cute? And here's all the goodies I got, too. I got extra goodies in both packages. Oh, and by the way, so yes, this is this was drawn uh, by Karen. Her little note mentioned that. So, um, again, make sure you head over to Starches and Stitches. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. Head over to Tapping Flamingo Bling and the Tapping Flamingo YouTube channel, especially if you like dolls and if you like jewelry. Um, yeah, Terry has some wonderful uh, tutorials over there for jewelry making. And thank you for Marna for doing this. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody's videos today. As usual, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And have a wonderful Dolly Day.